Well, good morning, church. Pastor Corey Rowland here with Yorksville First, Pleasant Grove, and Tippecanoe New United Methodist Church. And I have a devotional to share for you about the, the wisdom and the power of our God. And that devotional comes in the book of Job, Job 12, 13, all the way down to 16. But true wisdom and power are found in God. Counsel and understanding are His. What He destroys cannot be rebuilt. When he puts someone in prison, there is no escape. If he holds back the rain, the earth becomes a desert. If he releases the water, they flood the earth. Yes, strength and wisdom are his. Deceivers and the deceived are both in his power. And this verse, like many other verses in the book of Job, really sets apart the power of God. It says, if he destroys something, who can rebuild it? Wisdom and understanding are his. That is such an important phrase, especially for us as humans today. We're constantly trying to learn new things, constantly trying to gain wisdom. A lot of us, you know, we go to school, we go to college to get knowledge. And where does true wisdom come from? Where does true knowledge come from? And it says they are the Lord's. And so we take this phrase and then we can also pair this phrase up with the phrase found in Proverbs, which says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And so, not only is wisdom God's, but it says God imparts this wisdom on the man. And how we get this wisdom is first by the fear of the Lord. And so as you get up today, acknowledge the power of our God. He holds true wisdom. He holds true knowledge. He holds true power in his hands. And then thank him for the fact that not only does he hold this in his hands, but he wants to give it to us. He wants to give us wisdom. And so as you get up today, maybe you're going to school, maybe you're going to your job, or you're going to learn something new today. But understand that no matter what you learn, that true wisdom comes from the Lord. True wisdom comes from a relationship with God. And so if you've not taken the time to allow a relationship with God, I urge you today, if you want this true wisdom, this true knowledge, it comes from a relationship with God found through our Lord Jesus Christ. And then once we have that relationship, we can get wisdom and we can get wisdom abundantly by faithfully reading the Bible and by praying to God each and every day. So as you go about today, remember that the Lord has it all in his hands. He has true wisdom and true power. Amen.